What's going on guys? It's your boy Bugs back um, with another NBA 2K20 video for you. It's going to be a helpful vid, a tip vid. Uh, it's going to be the best budget players in the game. Uh, we're dropping this video because there's a ton of budget players. Um, it's going to help you a lot. And as you can see on the screen, we got the Steve Nash that I was talking about in yesterday's video. Guys, if you're new, make sure to drop the like, drop the sub. We're posting three to five vids every day. We're going to have another three vids today. So be sure to come out today, show some support, drop a comment, a question. Uh, if you guys get me to a certain amount of likes, I'll give away some MT. So I'll say about 50 likes in the vid will give away some MT. Make sure to drop the sub. Make sure to drop that like. Let's head into it. So we got a ton of budget players. Uh, I guess we'll do 10 budget players. I'm going to go over the stats and tell you why they're so good. So, right off the bat, uh, I guess I'll say 5K and under is budget. But this dude right here, he's a little over 5K. It's Zion. Um, I'm going to show you what his price is. Uh, first of all, it's a very good card to snipe. Second of all, it's Zion. He just plays so good. I've been playing with him for a while. Um, he starts, actually. Like my team stacked, but I he actually no nah, he's like the third uh, the the eighth man on my team, but he's so good. I just picked up Giannis, that's why he's not starting anymore. So here are his stats. Now I'm gonna explain. Like the stats do not they're not that good, but this is why he's so good. First of all, he catches lobs and he could just dunk on anybody. I'm not even kidding. Let's look at his badges. Um, boost takeover meter he just he's a putback guy lob city finisher he could literally do anything it, it, like in dunking he's just a beast this dude right here i play a triple threat game i beat the kid 22 to uh 22 to 15 because i only scored points with zion dude i'm telling you i'm gonna have a zion gameplay for you guys he's a budget baller i highly recommend the card the stats don't lie yeah his free throws trash but he's a dunking guy he's a big beefy dude and he's just zion so Hope you guys like that, dude. Let's go Walker. Kemba Walker is definitely a good budget player for his price. He's not too expensive. He's actually very cheap. He's an 86 overall Sapphire. He gets the job done. Wait, are you serious? There's only that many. All right, so Kemba Walker is about 5K. I would say he's pretty budget. Uh, let's get into the stats. Uh, we got three-point shot of 77. Isn't terrible, dude. He's 5K, yo. Like 5K, you get that from pretty much entering the game. So 5k, the mid range is filthy at an 88. He's got, he's a great layup. He has a great free throw. Let's check his passing. His passing is amazing. He's a point guard. It's kind of obvious. Steel is pretty trash, but he's a great offensive player. His perimeter D is not too bad. He's a great offensive player. I highly recommend you get him. He's not too slow. He's just pretty much perfect. So I hope you guys like this Kemba Walker. Uh, let's head into the next one. All right, guys, next player, Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal is very cheap, very good shooting guard. Let's go. So we got a power forward, a shooting guard, and a point guard so far. Next, we're going to do a small forward. So let's check his price. He's so cheap. He's about like 2K, three to, 2 to 3K. Um, let's check his stats. He's super cheap, definitely recommended, beast budget card. He has an 83-point shot, 81 mid-range shot. He's got a good draw foul, good close shot. He has a good driving dunk too. He can shoot free throws. He even can pass. So right there, his offense and his passing is beautiful. Let's check his steal. His steal is not too good. His perimeter defense is all right. But dude, this card right here is very good. He has great badges. He has five badges and he's just really, really good. I highly recommend you get this Beal for like two to 3K. He's very cheap. And I highly recommend it. Let's head into small forward. We got another budget small forward, and it is Jason Tatum. Um, his stats are actually very good. He's only an emerald. Uh, I don't know his price exactly, but I think it's looking around 4k to 5k, which is not bad. Um, not too shabby. Yeah, he's about like 5k for an emerald. I mean, you could wait on him, wait for his price to drop a little bit. But here are his stats. We got a three-point shot, of 78, uh, a 77 mid-range. Let's see his post. His post fade's not even bad at 64. 84 layup, 82 free throw. Uh, his driving dunk's got to be decent. Yeah, 86 driving dunk. Freak, it's better than Giannis, dude. He has a better driving dunk than Giannis. So that's crazy. 
Um, he has a pass handle of 77. His passing is pretty good. Um, and his steal is pretty trash. But his offense is great. Great offensive player. I highly recommend you get him. Um, let's head into the next one. We're going to do a little power forward action. Let's get John Collins in this. So, John Collins is a top player. Not a top player. What do I say? He's just a very good budget player. Uh, let's look at the stats. He's super cheap. Uh, let's see. He's got a 72 three-point shot, which is not bad. You can hit that wide open. I bet you you can. His post hook and post fade are decent. His driving layup is pretty solid. Uh, let's see his dunk. His dunk's really, really good. So, his shooting isn't too bad. It's not the worst. It's not the best. But it's budget, dude. He's like 2K. And his defense is not good either. But uh, his, his rebounding is good. He's a good power forward, I would say. If you got like 2K, yo, and you want to go get yourself a John Collins, I actually versed him online. And he played very well. So... I highly recommend you get the dude. Uh, it's definitely worth it for 850 MT. Uh, I would pick him up. Uh, let's this dude. Ray Allen Gold, baby. Super cheap. Uh, dude, it's Ray Allen. He's so cheap. Let's get into it. Ray Allen stats are really good. Let's check his price. Let's see if the auction blocks. All right. Yeah, so he's like 1K. It's a 79 Ray Allen. Just ch check the stats, dude. He's got an 84.3. He's a gold player for about 900 coins, dude. Uh, his layup's good. His three-pointer's good. His dunk's decent. It's not even that bad. He can dunk wide open. Uh, his steal's decent. Perimeter D's decent. But, dude, it's Ray Allen. He's going to splash. He's got that great three. Even though it's better to dunk this year, his three-point shot is just gorgeous. So, Ray Allen, for that cheat, I would pick him up. Next up, let's check CJ McCollum's price. I want to see if he's budget because his stats are really good. He's got, yeah, he's super budget. So, CJ McCollum's another budget player. Uh, very cheap. Highly recommend you guys get him. 84 3, 86 mid. So, stacked. Layup's great. Uh, his stats are really good. Layup's good. Three pointer mid range is great. Uh, let's see his defense. Defense isn't the best. Really, it's actually really bad, but his offense makes up for it. His offense is very good. Very good budget call right here. Very cheap. I highly recommend you get him. Let's head into the next dude. Let's look up a point guard. Let's see who we rocking with. All right. So there's really no budget Sapphire point guard besides Kemba. All right. So this Jason Williams, just because the sets out makes him super cheap. He's probably about 900 coins. Uh, I highly recommend you get the card. Let's see, Jason Williams, so he's super cheap. I'm not even looking at his price. I already know it's at about 1,000, even less. So his three-point shot's not the best. His mid-range is pretty good. Like, he's an all-around decent player. He's super cheap. Highly recommend you get him. He's a good layup. His handles are crazy. 96, 96, like, his handles are crazy. He's good with the ball. He could pass and he could shoot. He has a great driving layup. He's a very good player. His defense is actually not bad at 80 perimeter. Um... He's just really good. I mean, he's very slow, though. That's his downside. 74 point guards, very slow. But other than that, he's really good. Highly recommend you get him. Let's head to the next dude. Another dude in this collection. We got Michael Beasley. Very, very, very cheap. Um, let's just get into it. Um, he played very good for me. He could shoot threes. He's super cheap. He's like 1K. And let's get into it. So he's a 77-3, a 78 mid. He's got a good driving layup at a 75, at an 85. Good post fade, too. So, right there, his offense is great. He could even dunk at a 71. He's got, uh, let's check his defense. He got a 70 block, which is pretty solid. Decent, nah, pretty bad perimeter defense. His defense is all right, but this dude's very good on offense. I highly recommend you get him for offense. Uh, he's just really, really good for offense. And then, not one more player. I'm going to end off on Big Daddy. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal as the last player in his video for budget just because once again he is in the set all these players that dropped in packs are super cheap uh, Shaquille O'Neal his stats it's just Shaq dude it's big daddy Shaq his post hooks out of 90 dude this early in the game 90 post hooks great standing dunk 85 driving dunk 75 his dunk he's amazing so that's a plus and of course Shaq's gonna have a good block and of course he's gonna have good interior defense his rebound is 82 86 uh, this car is freaking beastly. I'm comparing it to my Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns is really good too, but he's not that budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here are all the budget cards I chose. There's definitely more. Hit me up with some other budget cards I could post about. 
But yeah, my favorite out of all these is Zion. I still use him in my stack team. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.